A blessed day to you students! Welcome back to our math class. In our previous lessons, we learned about squaring binomials, squaring trinomials, and finding the product of the sum and difference of two terms. In this video lesson, I will be talking about the cube of a binomial. A binomial is any mathematical expression with only two terms. There are certain binomial multiplications that appear over and over on a given problems or tests. If you want to save yourself some work, you may apply these patterns that I will give you. Remember that cubing is the process of raising a value to the power of 3. It means to multiply a value by itself 3 times. For example, 5 cubed, it means 5 times 5 times 5. The same goes with the cube of x plus 5. This simply means the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 5. Originally, we multiply the first two and afterwards multiply the third. I'll show you how. Okay, so we have here x plus 5 times x plus 5. The first x plus 5 will be our multiplicand and the second x plus 5 will be our multiplier. So using our multiplier x, we will multiply it with all the terms in the multiplicand. So x times x is x squared and x times 5 is 5x. After that, from the multiplier 5, we will multiply it to all the terms in the multiplicand. So 5 times x is 5x and 5 times 5 is 25. After that, we will combine similar terms. So 5x plus 5x gives us 10x. Therefore, x plus 5 times x plus 5 is x squared plus 10x plus 25. After that, we will multiply the product with another x plus 5. So x plus 5 will be our multiplier here. And x times x squared would be x cubed. x times 10x would be 10x squared. And x times 25 is 25x. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times 10x is 50x. And 5 times 25 is 125. Combining similar terms, the result would be x cubed plus 15x squared plus 75x plus 125. Another example, what is the cube of x minus 2? So x minus 2 times x minus 2. Our multiplicand is x minus 2 and the multiplier is x minus 2. So x times x would be x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. That would give us a result of x squared minus 4x plus 4. After that, we will multiply another x minus 2. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared. x times 4 is positive 4x. And then negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 4x is positive 8x. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then we will combine similar terms. And that gives us a result of x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. But we also have another method that you might find easier to use. All you have to do is follow any of these two formulae. When you are cubing a sum, the process would be a cubed plus 3ab times the quantity a plus b plus b cubed. Or it would be a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. For our examples, we will use the same example we had a while back. So we have here the cube of x plus 5. Our first step is to identify the a term and b term. So in this case, a term is x and b term is 5. Our second step is to substitute it in the formula. The cube of a plus b is equal to a cube plus 3ab times the quantity a plus b plus b cubed. So we have here x cubed plus 3 times x times 5 times the quantity x plus 5 plus the cube of 5, which is equal to x cubed plus 15x times the quantity x plus 5 
plus 125 or using the other formula it would be x cubed plus 3 times x squared times 5 plus 3 times x times the square root 5 plus 5 cubed therefore x cubed plus 15x times the quantity x plus 5 plus 5 cubed is equal to x cubed plus 15x squared plus 75x plus 125 our next example is the cubed of x minus 2 which is the same as the cubed of x plus negative 2. Our a term here is x and our b term is negative 2. So we will substitute it in the second formula. I will better choose that. So a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And that gives us x cubed plus 3 times x squared times negative 2 plus 3 times x times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 cubed. So simplify the terms, we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. Now you try this out. What is the cube of 2x plus y? I will give you 15 seconds to do this. Start now. And the answer is 8x cubed plus 12x squared y plus 6xy squared plus y cubed. If you got the same answer, then you are correct. If not, try again. Let's try another one. What is the cube of 3x minus 1? Your 15 seconds starts now. And the answer is 27x cubed minus 27x squared plus 9x minus 1. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for listening and see you again in my next video. This is Teacher Becca for ClickGen.